why was it important for you to um, get an immun- immunization, knowing yeah. in, in some ways how strongly your parents are not for it? Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, growing up, like I had heard about my mom's stances and heard about how um, my family just hadn't been vaccinated. I didn't really understand what that meant. Like I knew it. Mm-hmm. And, you know, when I moved on to social media, when I was like 13 or 14, I had a Facebook account for the first time. I quickly saw that there were online debates that would constantly take place where people would argue about this and that this was a really heated discussion. And so the, the arguments of like, oh, vaccines are bad. That's why I don't immunize my kids. That was not enough substantial evidence to say, okay, then that's probably a good idea. Mm-hmm. Being so how heated this was and how many discussions were taking place. So I just looked into it and I saw some really overwhelming evidence in defense of vaccines. And when I turned six, when I turned 18, I pursued that route. And when did you turn 18? I turned 18 back in September of 2018. Okay, so how soon after you turned 18 did you get your vaccination? So it, the funny story was that is that for a couple of years before I turned 18, before any of this happened, like I was vocal about how my mom and you know my both my parents kind of in some ways have been misinformed on some certain stances and some certain beliefs but it's all it was i just said like hey i don't think that's true and so i turned 18 it was okay now i have a decision to make you know and when i turned 18 i continued thinking about it and i discussed with some more friends looked in some more evidence continued those discussions and i made a reddit post in november of 2018 Mm -hmm. asking you know okay i think i want to do this Mm -hmm. what do i do um and that blew up it had like if you know anything about reddit like twenty five thousand upvotes thousand comments it was insane and the almost like the day or two after that i was like okay i know where to start i know what to do went to the public health department in norwalk um brought you know not i had no idea what i was doing i just went there i was like what do i need to do to get this to happen okay and they made an appointment for december of 2018 um and then went from there and got my vaccines no I have no idea what Reddit is. No clue. So tell me okay. in like Reader's Digest condensed version yeah. what that is. So Reddit's a forum site. It's where um, you have public discussions taking place between anonymous people um, through any discussion or any uh, topic. So you can find what's called subreddits or um, like specific topics that there's forums and discussions about for anything. If you're a GMC truck guy, okay. you can find a discussion in a forum for GMC trucks. If you love vegan food you can find anything but vegan if food. there's a topic there's a there's a there's, sub edit there's for, a forum for it okay, there's discussion gotcha. taking place and okay, so very good. i just went to a reddit um a reddit page or a discussion that was about asking stupid questions and i was like where do i go to get vaccinated right. like, i know that it's a good thing i know that there's uh-huh. evidence where should i start okay and then it poof, like it just went everywhere and i was like oh man now after going through your research were you concerned and this is a question i asked your mother as well were you concerned that maybe you might get sicker easier having not been vaccinated or gotten your immunizations having not been vaccinated yeah i think that there are some risks um, obviously imposed with that um you would look at real life situations and circumstances like even today how mm-hmm. we have measles coming back in 10 different states and have um, more than 100 people with reported cases of measles and you're seeing that a large portion of that can be attributed to an anti-vaccine movement right to people choosing not to vaccinate mm-hmm. So in that way, you're seeing real life circumstances where choosing not to vaccinate can lead to getting preventable diseases. And even if people say, well, measles isn't that bad, or a lot of these you can, you don't even need. It's the idea that when you choose not to vaccinate, you can get diseases that you could prevent. And so something like polio, you know, is a really big deal that if people just largely say, well, it's not a big deal, it's gone, we don't need the vaccine. Now people are susceptible if one person comes with polio. And that's something you don't want to be the case. And so for me, um, that was kind of an interesting enlightenment to say, wow, this decision isn't just personal, but it's also for the health and safety of myself and other people. Okay. Um, do you feel good now that you've gotten the vaccination? I mean, and when, yeah. when I mean yeah. good, do you feel confident yeah. in your own decision? Absolutely. Um, I mean, I feel great on a health level to address that as well. I mean, people have been asking okay. me if I've had reactions, and no, I haven't had reactions. Okay. And people even were like, well, are you going to have a reaction now three months down the line? And no, that's not how vaccines work. You don't right. have a vaccine, and then three months later, you burst into, like, <laughs> uh, bumps and, and have a rash. Right. Like, um, you know, I've been, and even everyone at the health department was so kind to me. They were okay. so nice and welcoming. Um, even my family physician, I spoke to her about the issue, and she gave me a lot of great research and places to start. Okay. Um, and also because of all that, I, that reaffirms that decision was well made. Um, and the evidence I looked into was very substantial and scientific. CDC, um, WHO, different articles, and, and uh, research by peer-reviewed scientific studies. And that's where I try to base that decision off of. Right, now, i got to ask about the 
exposure because you've already lit up Twitter. You've lit up my Twitter, yeah. as a matter of fact. And I saw something on Good Morning America. Yeah. I heard that there was an interview requested by Anderson Cooper. Was that right? Can you tell me about this exposure? Yeah, so what, what that's experienced well, that like specifically, for you? That specifically, uh, I, I was even a little upset about that because I got a text from someone on Facebook that was like, hey, do you want to play the Anderson Cooper show? And I was like, I'm not talking to Anderson Cooper. That's insane. And so later when I got on a phone call, and they were like, well, technically, you're on the Anderson Cooper show. <laughs> But you're not talking to Anderson Cooper, and I was like, "Dang it!" <laughs> I was so mad. Okay. And so I was I was on CNN um, on their Facebook Live show they did, and okay. I, I I don't recall what the title. I, I don't keep up with CNN. Honestly, I'm okay. not I'm not super news savvy. Right. I, mean, I can do research, but I'm, if someone were to be like, "Do you know the CNN host?" I'd be like, oh, "Who is that?" Um, but I was technically on the, the Anderson Cooper show. Um, mm-hmm. I was on CNN. Um, I was on the Washington Post, and was the top trending discussion of that over the weekend. Um, yeah, GMA, MSNBC, um, the BBC even reported it. I heard um, you on the front page of the USA Today. Yeah, it's true. Um, People Magazine commented on it, did an article. Okay. Um, even in other countries, I've been getting calls and discussions for uh, radio stations in okay. Australia and, Bel- and um, Berlin and you know in the UK. Um, so it's technically international in terms of a story. Um, by technicality, like I haven't got overwhelming Europeans and Australians contacting me, but the few that have, you know. Right. Um, so that's been very strange. And even I commented when I was just discussing with the news channel in Australia, they were like, how you doing, mate? And I was just like, well, this is actually kind of funny because you're the first Australians I've ever spoken to. <laughs> and they were like, oh, that's awesome. And I was like, yeah, I speak fluent Australian, so I'll be fine. <laughs> that's but, weird. Yeah, so, so it, that's been really weird. That exposure and that, right. that spread has been so strange. Um, and, you know, it, it's something to where my Facebook and everything has been flooded. My social media has been, you right. know, um, just been crazy. Um, so it's been, it's definitely been a new experience because again, I'm a small kid from Norway, like not a lot happens here. So. Right, absolutely. So one more question about the coverage. What do you think as far as your stance on the subject, how do you think that coverage, what's that going to do? So I don't think I've been misrepresented at all in any way by the media. Um, and I think that the coverage has been naturally, um, just kind of per, just taking its own course. Because I, have I haven't reached out to any news article or any news station. You know, okay. It's always been people reaching out to me. Gotcha. So even the Washington Post, I have people that are like, how did you get in contact with Or even with the Norwalk Reflector, you didn't yeah, reach out yeah, to yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just kind of... <laughs> but, but people were like, how did you get in contact with the Washington Post? Like, I did it. Like, they contacted right. me, and they were doing a discussion about it. So the thing that I find interesting is that people are assuming that like I'm just this kid who has been trying so hard to get you know a PR stunt to, to take place or to get coverage or popularity, but I haven't done any of that. You know, this has been a story that's so important because vaccines are a hot topic in discussion and because there's so many people that have different views that when I come along and I say very affirmatively that this is what's true scientifically and logically, my mom disagrees, that like that's a representation of the entire discussion taking place. That's like that is a manifestation of what's been going on country like the whole nationwide and even worldwide, that there's two very close people that disagree on a fundamental level on this topic. And so I think that's why it's taken off. So you're really just a microcosm for a, a greater a thing that's happening. Absolutely. Overall. That's a great way to put it. Okay. Because, and I don't think I'm you know, a politician or a congressman that can sit down or a, a doctor who can go, this is all of the very clear evidence from this study from this year mm-hmm. or this. And like people are asking for debates. And I'm like, no, I'm not, I'm not okay. a debater. I'm a kid who made a decision based on the evidence he saw. Um, and it's something to where that, that kind of, that's been strange. My stance has just been, you know, popular and and um, that's been the that stance of vaccines are more positive and there's scientific evidence to defend them is the majority um, just statistically you know the majority of people uh, support vaccines um and so you know i think also because of that it hasn't been like i've been super harassed or online and that you know it's just been hey cool job how, how about your classmates how have they taken that especially and have, has it got them thinking about immunization at all uh, so my classmates mainly just been wow. Ethan's on news, like that's cool. Like <laughs> it's more like they're impressed with your with your uh, yeah, celebrity, right? Right, right. And people, and people have joked about it and said like you know when you go on when you go on Fox and go on CNN like shout out my my Instagram or, <laughs> and 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 it's been really cool because I'm still the same person that I was before. I still hold the same beliefs and have the same opinions and um, I stay very true to that. And my friends just have been like wow, this is such a cool experience, and I'm so glad that you're speaking out against um, you know misinformation because that's been a large part of it. Is speaking towards you know how do you properly discuss with people and how do you find reliable information, okay. and you know I've got a lot of support from classmates too and a lot of them have been like oh like Ethan was on Fox that's cool and then like a couple days later they were like wait what's going on and they shared like an article they read and they were like this is kind of getting out of hand yeah so people have been you know kind of put off by it and kind of confused 
And even some people like my own brother was like, why is this even taking off? It seemed uninteresting. Right. But it's it's not, you know, 18 year old gets vaccinated. That's not the end of the story. It's this is a this is a story again of, uh, that's a microcosm that's an example of a nationwide discussion. And so I think that's why it's been taken off. And and I think it's people see that or don't. Okay. So Any, anything else you want to tell us that we haven't thought to ask you? Uh, not necessarily. Um, I mean, you know, in terms of this whole topic, um, I'm really glad that I get to speak openly about uh, my stance on vaccines and the evidence I've seen. And um, I'm continuing to do that, obviously, now. And uh, I'm not, I would never say or um, hold the claim that everyone that is anti vax is, you know, stupid or that they don't have evidence at all. Um, I still hold the stance very 100% positively that the evidence that is defending an anti vax movement or, or argument is misinformed and is not genuinely scientific. And that's very different. A lot of people can't distinguish that very, ac- very easily to say, oh, you're wrong, to I'm stupid. Like, mm-hmm. Those are very two different, very good different claims. Mm-hmm. So someone reading this that may hold that opinion or hearing this, you know, that's, not, that's not what I'm presenting. Mm-hmm. What I'm presenting is a discussion and, and a, um, an opportunity to analyze evidence. Okay. Thanks a lot, Ethan. Yeah. Really appreciate it. Yeah. Not a problem, guys.